Turning now to the weather and another ferocious storm slamming California. ABC News obtained this dramatic video of the rescue of an older man stranded in the mountains of San Bernardino. Volunteers handing out ready to eat meals to residents trapped under more than 12 feet of snow in desperate need of food and other supplies. ABC's DeMarco Morgan is back in San Bernardino tonight. Tonight, another brutal snowstorm hammering California as residents are still digging out from historic snowfalls from the last storm. This is how we have to get people out of the snow. This rescue of an elderly man caught on cell phone video obtained by ABC News. The situation in the San Bernardino Mountains dire. Some residents still stranded under more than 12 feet of snow and facing food and gas shortages. Wind gusts up to 55 miles per hour, hampering efforts by crews frantically trying to clear away tons of snow. This right here is a street here in the Valley of Enchantment community. It has yet to be plowed. Uh, many of the cars, as you can see, still buried, making it very difficult just to navigate your way through. But perhaps the worst for the mobile home park, several of its structures, roofs collapsed, leaving more than two dozen homeless. Danielle Sager and her grandmother, Shelly Steed, had no other choice but to stay put. My mom and stepdad went down the mountain to get supplies and they can't get back up. That was two days ago. A lot of places up here have lost power. Trees falling, branches, that kind of thing. In the Sierra Nevada mountains, blizzard conditions and near zero visibility causing dangerous road conditions, accidents and spinouts along I-80, forcing it to shut down parts of the interstate. This semi crashing into this SUV. The UC Berkeley Central Sierra Snow Lab saying their season snow total is now over 46 feet, with two to four feet more expected this week. Wood search and rescue teams are still going door to door at this hour, uh, just trying to make sure that everyone has been accounted for. As of this morning, the county sheriff's department said at least 20 people put in requests to be transported off the mountain. Their request has been granted. Wit. Certainly encouraging news there. DeMarco, thank you. And 10 million people under winter weather alerts. Let's get right to our senior ABC News meteorologist, Rob Marciano. Rob, time this out for us. Well, with the heaviest snow for California will come tonight and through tomorrow, maybe a break midweek, but with then more storms coming. We've got a winter storm warning up for much of the Sierra and another one at two, three feet coming. We have avalanche mitigation happening there in the Wasatch and in the Rockies where they have advisories up. Also, a lot of wind with this across the high plains. We've got a, a red flag warning for parts of the Texas panhandle and wind alerts back through Flagstaff. And then a piece of the energy from yesterday's system that's now in the upper plains and Places like Minnesota are getting some snow. That'll get into northern Wisconsin. I think just rain pulse in the morning for Chicago. But this get arcs into New York State for a little bit of light snow come Monday night into Tuesday morning. The Tuesday morning rush across I-95 Metro could be on the slick side. Wit. All right, Robert, thanks to you tonight. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.